so the RCBO keeps tripping the kitchen circuit. Some appliances are more likely to cause problems. Anything that's got a heating element, anything that holds and heats water. Things like oven elements do fail. It's worth checking them out first. I often find issues in sockets and spurs in locations that are difficult to access. Probably because the installer struggled to terminate them. And also crushed and damaged conductors in 25mm back boxes. Cables get crushed. Now, have you got immediate operation of the RCBO and will not reset? That's easy to fault find. Or, have you got intermittent operation of the RCBO? It will reset and then randomly operate. This is a lot harder to fault find. If the RCBO goes off immediately, start symbol, unplug or switch off everything, or switch off fuse spurs and see if the problem clears. If it does, find out which appliance is causing the issue and test that appliance. Only start suspecting the fixed installation once you know you have no loads and the fault has not cleared and everything plugged back in and powered up. See if the RCBO holds and you might just need a new kettle. But try to limit testing by operation of the RCBO. Repeated operation may damage it or cause issue with items frequently getting powered up or down, especially an old boiler. Now, if you've got intermittent operation of the RCBO, it could be an appliance. But the intermittent nature of the fault will not give clear results by removing the appliances. The fault might only appear on a particular cycle of the washing machine, for example. So I'd carry out some IR and earth leakage tests on these appliances. And also local knowledge here is essential. The client can often say something that leads you in a particular direction. First off, installation resistance is a dead test. Follow the safe isolation procedure. You've got to be careful with installation resistance tests because RCBOs, SPDs and such can be sensitive and the device may also affect the results. But remember, this is fault finding. There's no requirement to test at 500 volts. But even before you do the IR test, do a continuity test between the conductors. If continuity picks up a reading, there's absolutely no point doing an installation resistance test. Check what the manufacturers say about testing RCBOs. Sometimes you can use the load terminals with the RCBO switched off and obviously the main switch locked off as well. Problem with global tests though is you are testing everything. You might need to or you might want to remove the RCBO's flying lead. We really want to dismantle as little as possible, but we may need to dismantle enough to get an accurate and valid picture of what's going on in this particular circuit. Okay, these three minute shorts go quick, but people seem to like them and there's still loads more to say. The next one will get more involved in the testing. These are all available on my Instagram and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.